I uh, hear great consistency from economists uh, that inflation is under control, it's going to ease up, uh, but it makes no sense to me. If, if velocity increases with the turnover of money, there's such a large supply, there's nowhere to go as far as I can see, except for huge inflation. Locally, uh, prices on almost everything I see are back and accelerated. And so I, I'm just dumbfounded at why it won't, with a higher velocity of turnover, why we're not going to see huge inflation. Uh, should I repeat the question for people yeah. in the back? Yes. <laughs> so the question is uh, that why are economists not concerned about inflation, or at least most economists appear not to be concerned about inflation, when every day you go to gas station, things are higher, you go to you buy grocery, things are higher, and are still printing up so much money, and once the economy picks up, velocity of money picks up, and then uh, they will begin to kick in the inflationary pressures. That is a very good point. Uh, in fact, in the recent NAR convention, I was speaking with Kansas City President, Federal Reserve, Thomas Honig. Because Thomas Honig was one person who at the Federal Reserve Monetary Policy meeting said, don't print money. You know, so everyone said, yes, let's print money. And he's the only one said, don't print money, because he's concerned about inflation. And you talk to him, and you find out that, well, if you look at the inflation pictures today, what the consumers are paying. Yeah, they're paying a little more on grocery. They are little paying a little more on the uh, gasoline. But they may be paying less on electronics and others on balance. Maybe there's only maybe one or two percent inflation. But Thomas wanted to say, but you look at the pipeline inflationary pressure. What are the companies paying for their materials? What are the other? Uh, so you look at the producer price index, wholesale price index, and you find that pressures are building. I mean, prices are rising seven, eight percent. Uh, if it's a crude stage of production, very early stage of production, they are paying twenty percent higher prices. So those companies are buying their stuff for 20% higher. Surely they must eventually uh, translate into higher consumer prices down the line unless companies want to eat that product, not have any profit on what they do. So that raises a uh, concern about it. Uh, so uh, the answer that I can provide you is economic logic say velocity increase, there will be inflation. And, and from 1970s, what we learned uh, from Paul Volcker, who was the inflation killer, is that he is saying, once you have inflation out, it's like a toothpaste. You put it out, it's hard to put it back in unless you have a harsh pain of a harsh recession. And you don't want to go through that. So you need to contain inflation right now before it occurs. And I believe the Federal Reserve policymakers understand that. They don't see it, but if they see some inflation getting a little higher than what they anticipate or what they forecast, I think they will be quite aggressive in terms of uh, raising interest rate or trying to stop inflation. But what they raise is short-term interest rate, which means it may not actually affect the long-term interest rate that much. So, uh, so in terms of a mortgage rate, if the Fed responds quickly to kill off inflation, mortgage rate may not change all that much, even from the, the, the from banking point of view, uh, it's higher cost of uh, borrowing. Somebody can't have about that? Yes, sir. You said that uh, corporations are not spending the money that they have and the cash that they have, and there are two possible uh, solutions. One is the government gets involved in I, I should say not two possible solutions, but two, uh, pos two opinions as to how to get that to do so. My question is, why do we have two opinions? Why don't people or the government or whoever just ask the question of the corporations of what it would take to do that? Um, <laughs> government officials, uh, uh, first, I, mean, I think somebody may be, you know, anything that is common sense, government will not be, be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe mean, that there was actually some survey of corporate uh, top managers as to why they are not spending. And you know, they are saying, well, they are cautious because maybe they don't want to overbill. Uh, but what they actually perceive to be sometimes can act be actually different from um, uh, the underlying reason. So anytime I take a survey, uh, so most corporate managers are saying right now there is still economic uncertainty, as, as they call it, the economic uncertainty. I mean, they do mention the regulatory burden, they do mention the, uh, the 
the Washington uncertainty, but they are also looking at the economic uncertainty. But the question is, why is that economic uncertainty there? Okay. Hi. On uh, last Thursday, AAR published their uh, uh, statistics of median prices of 153 markets. Uh, the national network showed a plus 0.2% in the median price. Colorado Springs showed 5.2% plus for all of last year. Tell us what is our relative strength in the, in the industry given the fact that we're 5.2% so the question is, uh, national prices was, did not really change. It was 0.2% of <coughs> national price. Colorado Springs prices rose 5%. Colorado Springs is stronger than national. What are some reasoning for that? Uh, I don't know the nature of the, all the industry that is here. I know all the, you know, the Air Force Academy, there's a, some military bases. Uh, and Colorado also is interestingly a, a quite a high tech uh, environment. Uh, business environment. In fact, many Californians, in fact, I uh, hear this from some, I uh, forget where I heard it from, I heard it uh, several times where companies from the Silicon Valley wants to move to Utah or Colorado because they said that's actually a better business decision to move into uh, Utah and Colorado, better business environment, except they just cannot, they're just stuck with their real estate and no one who is willing to buy their uh, real estate so they cannot uh, make that relocation. But, uh, it's a testament that uh, that the Silicon Valley perceive Utah, Colorado as high-tech uh, potential industry uh, market. Uh, so I don't know all the things. I mean, you would know more, but uh, the, uh, the other reason is that anytime there's an economic recovery, generally Colorado uh, does better, and, and maybe that's what's occurring. Yes, sir. There's a lot of publicity right now about the uh, uh, environmental impacts. Uh, regarding consumer product, uh, specifically food um, across the, globally. Uh, do you have concerns about how this might uh, have a negative impact on the, what you discussed this morning? The, the environmental impact, uh, particularly on food, and how that relates to uh, what I have said this morning. Uh, that's hard to say because that's not my uh, area of expertise and certainly we do need to assure that there is safe food uh, minimum standard. I mean, our companies always have an incentive prep product. Uh, others, and if they make one mistake, their brand name is done, so they want to assure, company want to assure that they have a private incentive to assure is a safe food. But sometimes you have shaky companies and there need to be certain minimum standard, but I cannot address uh, your question. 